In here from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to edit an Amazon brand story. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. I am on the A Plus Content Manager in Amazon Seller Central. And to get there, basically go to Advertising and A Plus Content Manager and you'll hit this page. This feature is only open to uh, brands, that is, companies that have a registered brand on Amazon uh, brand registry, and then it's incorporated into their. Um, uh, Amazon Seller Central account. And by the way, it does not work for book brands. It, it only works for kind of uh, apparel, uh, kind of item types of things that are sold on Amazon. I happen to have two types of uh, products on Amazon, including books, uh, but the books I can't add uh, brand stories. And I've shown in other videos how to actually create a brand story. This video is going to be about editing a brand story. And here's what I'm going to do. This is the one that I want to edit. I'm going to just click on it. So it already exists. I'm going to do two things. The first thing is, is I don't like the way that this image appears on the mobile view. I checked it out on my mobile phone. It just it rubs me the wrong way. So I'm gonna, I might change that image completely. The second thing I'm going to do is I only have six tiles here. And I think I could really expand that, particularly these image-based tiles, which I think are really, uh, they really stand out and look great. And maybe a few more of these, um, these ASIN-based tiles. So I'm going to go in and make some changes. So go to the upper right corner, click on Edit. And here is the, uh, the brand carousel background. So I could edit the text here, but what I want to do is actually edit the, edit the image. Is it going to let me do it? It's not letting me do it. Um, hmm. All right, I might have to. I might actually have to remove the image. Oh, okay. So it's actually by clicking "Remove Background Image," it takes you to the editor window. So what I want to do is I want to move that over. Yeah, I think I want to move it over that way. And click Add. Okay. So hopefully that will look different. And if I want to check my work, I can look on this. The preview. All right, that's better. I like that. Okay, small edit, but I wanted to do it. And then what I'm going to do is actually add more of these visual things. And maybe a good place to actually, I'm going to leave that there. This one is fine. I actually like this one a lot. Here's another ASIN one for my large print charts. And then what I'm going to do is, oh, actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to switch out this ASIN. So one thing I recommend you do when you are actually editing any sort of brand story is have the ASIN, ASINs ready to go. So I'm going to replace it with this one. So it just pulls in the default image for the product. And if you want to, you can actually replace the image itself with something else. I don't want to do that. So I'm okay with that. Okay. All right, I'm going to add another image module. So it's called the brand focus image. Those are the really helpful ones. So click on add background image. You'll be prompted to drag something there. And it's kind of like a profile view. But if you drag a landscape view image, it will still be just cropped. It will still look OK, especially if it's a really good image. So I have some good images that I've already made. Um, I'm just going to drag this one over here. Note that there's also a minimum, 362 by 453. I actually suggest using bigger images if you can. Um, I'm going to keep that one there. OK. Pedigree chart and tree. Click Add. And then what you can do is you can enter uh, some headline text. So I'm going to call this Holiday gift ideas. You can add body text if you want, a couple lines. I'm not going to do that. I'm okay with that. Okay. So I've already added an FAQ. I haven't added an about us and I'm kind of, I have mixed opinion about that because I'm not sure I want to highlight my brand logo, but about us, that might be a useful thing to do. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll just try this about us one. OK, so click to add image. So my question is, are they going to want to force me to use the logo? 
Well, let's just try it. Uh, okay. It's in here. Okay, it's this one. So let's just check the image. I could use that one. Actually, maybe just use that one. Drag that over. Okay, so it's giving me a warning, 315 by 145. So let's take a look at that one again. Oh, I see, because it's too small. I think this one's better. This is bigger. Okay, that's good. Easy Genie logo. Click Add. All right, now it's going to add ask for my About Us story. So what I do is I already have all this information on our website. I'm just going to copy and paste it over. And I think if you you know if you're a serious business, you sell on Amazon, you have some sort of social media presence, you have maybe a website presence, and you may already have these assets available. Um, and I just put this in here. So there's not a lot of room. So you have to so you have to choose what you want to what you want to do. Maybe what I'll do here. All right, it's too long. You see that? It says I have to cut 158 characters. Good there. And do another picture module, brand focus image, add the background image. So again, I have everything already prepared. So I'm just going to drag it over. Um, oh, this is the one I wanted to use. So this is a good one. All right, perfect. Do something like works of art for art. Okay, good. And I think I'm going to add one more of these. Brand ASIN and show and store showcase. And maybe what I'll do, I have some more affordable ones. Um, hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel that one. So just X out of it if you're not. Okay. I think I'm good for now. So I'm going to apply ASINs or sorry, save as draft, just to make sure nothing is lost, then apply ASINs. I've already added 27 ASINs, and I'm good with that. And review and submit. So it lets you review it. Take a quick look at it. OK. Submit for approval. OK. So hopefully within couple days it'll be approved and then my my uh, my changes will be visible on my Amazon product detail pages for more information on how to get the most out of out of Amazon out of uh, Shopify out of other types of programs check out the 
Lean Media blog and video page on leanmedia.org. I have all kinds of free advice for people who are using these platforms. And also, if this video helped you out, if you could like it and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. This is Ian signing off. Thank you so much for watching.